it's time to look at some cheapskates, cut price versions of another car we've driven in the show. Swoopy styling, a serious turn of speed, the prospect of some rear wheel drive hooliganism. These are the best cheapskate alternatives to the bonkers Donkervort that Vicky thrashed in Holland. But instead of £100,000, prices start at just £4,000. Our first budget buy is the Honda S2000. It's more high-tech than the Donkervoort, but offers the same back-to-basics excitement. Time for a test drive. The S2000 was on sale from 1999 to as recently as 2009, and it came with one of the all-time great engines, a two-litre four-cylinder that revs to 9,000 RPM. It's actually a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde engine because Below 6,000 revs before the variable valve timing kicks in, it's as docile as anything. But get to that magic mark and it takes off like nothing else. So, what do you need to look out for? These engines are well known for their excellent reliability, but timing chain tensioners are a potential weak spot. A dodgy one makes a sound like a playing card being stuck into a bike's spokes. Replacing it can cost just over £200. And check for uneven tyre wear, a symptom of poorly aligned suspension. The geometry of these cars can be quite easily knocked out. And whilst it only costs about 100 quid to realign it, it could cost you over £500 to replace the tyres. The S2000 is a reliable future classic, but spend three and a half thousand pounds more and you could have a TVR Chimera, complete with the same space-age styling as the Donkervoort. Of course, TVRs aren't built anymore, so this is a bit of British motoring history. Built during TVR's heyday, the Chimeras were produced from 1992 till 2003. Under that long bonnet, there's a four litre V8 that pumps out 240 horsepower and it'll get the Chimera to 60 in just under five seconds. The power delivery is almost the opposite of the S2000 because there's so much torque low down, you don't need to rev anywhere near the six and a half thousand limit. And this TVR has got good old fashioned grunts. The TVR's body is made out of corrosion-proof glass fibre, but its chassis isn't. This can suffer from serious corrosion, so, with the owner's permission, get yourself a screwdriver and do a bit of prodding, especially on these outriggers. Small repairs can be done for about £100, but if there's serious rust, a new chassis will set you back six grand. Also, listen for an odd chuffing noise from the exhaust manifold, especially when the engine is cold. It's a sign of a failed manifold gasket, which will cost around £300 to replace. The TVR is fast, rare and exotic, but our top budget buy will get you even closer to the Donkervoort experience, the Caterham 7. Just like the D8, it's based on a Lotus 7 sports car from the 1950s. This is the weapon of choice for petrol heads who want the rawest of driving experiences. Nothing gets you more involved than the surface of the road than one of these. And the great thing about this is that everything's instant as soon as you turn the steering wheel, it turns. As soon as you move the throttle a millimetre, it goes. It's frantic. And the trouble is, Almost what works against the cage is it's almost too frantic. I'm about half an hour in one of these. I think I'll be exhausted. The Caterham is as basic as cars get, but it still pays to buy carefully. The Rover K Series engine is prone to head gasket failure, which can cost you just over £500 to get fixed. So check for any low coolant level or froth in the oil cap. Both can indicate water's getting where the oil is. So either walk away or negotiate a lower price. The Caterham's aluminium body is easily dented, so check the condition of the panels. 
Finally, the 7 is of course available as a build-it-yourself kit, which means there are some less than perfect models out there. So find out if it's got a factory-built sheet or not. So if you haven't got the £100,000 you need for a Donkervoort D8 GTO, fear not. These three very different beasts all offer similar driving thrills for a fraction of the price.